Hi, I'm a quirky critic. I want to give my honest thoughts about Godzilla X Kong. I know I'm a bit late than others, but I was busy to watch the movie. So anyways, let's get into the movie. First, can we address it's really a Kong movie? I know the title says Godzilla X Kong, but it feels like Kong is the main character here while Godzilla is just in it as a special guest. Same thing happened in Godzilla v Kong movie. So let's just call it Kong movie with Godzilla in it. The opening was good with Kong fighting some dinosaur looking creatures. The CGI was good too. I didn't mind we are following Kong as long as it was fun to watch. As like past movies, the human aspects were not that great. Can we have one of these movies where there are no humans, just monsters and their monster language? I mean in this movie there are scenes between Kong and other big monkeys that don't have any dialogue and it was still great. For a moment I thought I was watching the Planet of the Apes movie. I am still glad I get to see more Godzilla than in the first Godzilla movie. But still, it was hardly enough. We get to see Kong and his humanity, while Godzilla seems to be like just a force of nature and nothing more. Where this movie shines, it shines bright in the monster fights. Yes, if I nitpick, I can do this all day. But if we turn off our brains and just enjoy the visuals, it looks great. I was a bit confused during the anti-gravity fights, but except for that, fights really looked cool and I enjoyed. Among the human characters, Dan Stevens playing as Trapper was fun to watch. Brian Tyree Henry was also good with the few lines he got. Kaylee Hoddle playing as Gia. She did good as the last movie. And I don't know if adding more human characters was necessary or not. Cause we all know we came to see Monster Fight, we know why we are watching this movie. Now let's talk about the bad guy of the movie Scar King. I thought he looked terrifying which was a good thing. I really liked his fighting style too. He is a good villain. But I don't know if I like how he met his end. It felt like Godzilla was just there to back up Kong not to fight as equal as Kong. I really enjoy exploring the Hollow Earth and other ecosystems there. I would like to see more. And also I would like to see more of Godzilla too. I get it Kong has connections with the human, he is the protectors of humans. But still I am sure Godzilla must feel lonely too. I'm sure there is a heart in that big lizard somewhere. A heart of radiation. In the end, it wasn't better than Godzilla Vive Kong but still a good time for an entire family. I would give it 6 out of 10 Godzilla. Comment down below what you thought of the movie and yes I do read every comment. That's all for now and I will see you guys in the next video Quirky Critics signing out.